wonder Senora was so wary of you. What? That just means I can go all out. Ah! Brace yourself. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Uh, it looks like some sort of trap. Maybe it's the way to the Jade Chamber. Yes, this must be the way. <gasps> Come on. takes us up to here. Aw, if that wind current was stronger, we'd be able to reach the top in one go. I best about the Leo and us the Millilith. Huh? Why? The way up shouldn't be a secret. Oh. Or? Oh, Paimon gets it. If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Mm-hmm. All right, let's follow your plan. Then we can... Oh, hang on a moment. Look down there. Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. Hmm. Wait. Paimon has a new idea. Paimon, what? Why don't we shoot you up to the Jade Chamber using the Ballista? Uh, do you really hate me that much? Uh, no. <laughs> Paimon may have just forgotten to think about the safety measures. Yeah, you don't see. Still, I do remember that the Ballista had a scope. Uh, what? Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I also didn't call her emergency food, chat. I, I was nice. That, that took a second. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Hallowed what now? These are the wilds around Mount Tianheng. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? Yeah, tell him, Paimon. No. Wait, maybe this was Ningguan's plan all along. No. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a Melolith ambush here to arrest us. We haven't explained the invitation to them yet. Uh, now Paimon's mad. You, over there. This is a trick, isn't it? How oh, no. shameless. Paimon. What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! No! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Goddamn! <laughs> Stop! What's all this about? Hello? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Oh. Uh, we're just looking for a way to the Jade Chamber. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Mm-hmm. Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Leo at Qixing. Who are you? Uh. <laughs> well, as it happens, oh. I am one of the Liyue at Qixing. Oh. Her eyes are so I'm cool. Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Mm-hmm. Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. <laughs> the Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. It was These us. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene. Not to arrest anyone. We'll be killed so like nine of them. Was all a misunderstanding? Paimon never would have thought. Think it isn't that hard, Paimon. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Even to the Chising. Uh, that was... Uh, shush, Paimon, don't complicate the matter. Huh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhong, might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. What's she doing this? When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? Uh-oh. You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. 
Maybe. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Lilae who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. It is kind of... <laughs> Should I respect odd. the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Wow, okay. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. Yo, look at the thing on her too. They would call for a council of adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Uh, Nima would prefer to negotiate, wouldn't she? Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue at Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. Sometimes I don't got a choice. You should both be off to the Jade <laughs> Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream oh. of Liyue's mercantile crop also is sending to the Jade Chamber as the greatest honor. What does mercantile Each mean? brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? <laughs> uh, do we want to be rude or do we want... Uh, Paimon gets serious, yeah. But, but... No! Wait! That's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Liyue's culture! We need to get one! Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. So ego. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to Whoa, the Jade yes. Chamber first. Oh, yes. Please. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion. And, well then, may we meet again, traveler. Wow. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. Uh, she made a pretty good impression on me, too. Oh, so, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You really half shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? Oh, right. Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night sugar frosted slime. Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? It's a fucking good job you're cute. How would we make this thing up you dreamed of? With a certain boom shakalaka, of course. Let's go <laughs> gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and not neither will our riches. Not the boom shakalaka. No, not again. Uh-oh. Please tell me you're a good guy. Thank you for your help, kind travelers. What a voice. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Oh, fuck. Aw, oh, it was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. There is really no need. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. All of the above? Your goodwill is enough for me? God damn it. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? Oh. We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Ooh. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Okay. Now just give me a moment, and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great. Let's go. Come on, sugar frosted slime now comes in a beautiful package. Uh huh. 
Yo, this present's gonna be great, chat. Okay, dude. Whiskey, welcome in. And I know it's kind of insane. It is kind of insane. Uh, chat, we're so close to 6.2 thousand followers. That's that's wild. That is wild. Hey there. A guy called Mung Dan told us that we could get a nice and shiny box from your store. Well, here we go. Uncle Mung already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Oh, it was his niece. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Oh. Here, this container is itself an antique with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yes, it will. Yep, yep, yep. It's great. That's so good. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Sure. Please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. What what else Tyler, do we want to borrow? This clay pot looks really awesome. It's huge. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. What? It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now. Into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. Wow. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, You're too. fine, Nemo. Oh, I God. enjoy listening to newcomers on mobile. It's always fun listening to y'all's reactions. I also feel the game so much more satisfying playing at your own pace. This is a thing with a hundred biddies. A true. Thank you. I appreciate that. I agree. I agree. Appreciate you watching. Um, she's using an antique vase as a mixing pot. Isn't that like blasphemous? Holy shit. Woohoo! It looks beautiful. Yo, we do look kind of bomb. I'm not going to lie. I'm still not sold on this gift idea. No, I kind of am now. Great. Now that we've put all that we've got I into kind of this am. box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. I'm kind of sold on it, dude. I don't know. That looks kind of good. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? <laughs> yes. How many would you like? What? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use <laughs> this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of which... Are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yeah, we are. Yeah. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. Huh? What's going on here? What? Oh shit, chat. Oh shit. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyeon Karst. Hello, Ning Wang. <gasps> it's Ning Guang. Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, please. Oh, for me. Yo, those eyes. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Uh, it's my first Dakota to a place this high up. Technically, this it is. floats in the skies. Higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Okay. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day... I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. This time she does not lack for ambition. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. Oh? He spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? Wow, and okay. I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Oh, when I fell off the bridge? Uh, wait, was Vergoldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergoldet? No. Wow. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. What? <laughs> we also ran into the Yu Hang no long ago. Oh, at the Guizhang Ballista, yes. How do you see all of this? Uh, you 
peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Kachin says that the, that the Qixing would not wish ill on Rex Lapis. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Uh, rings a bell. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. Oh. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. Okay. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. I've been there, it's scary. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. These were thrown by Not Rex Lapis? Only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Oh God! Yet you? how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Why had the Exuvia then? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, oh. they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back, to play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Uh, <laughs> it's him, or it's him, isn't it? <laughs> talking about well answered uh, huh? oh, the scenery out here is fine indeed but the wind is a little strong our preparations to receive guests within are complete they do that so on purpose please, this they've way. done that on purpose right ah! they've done that on purpose haven't they all right let's go never mind what do you got for me baby be at ease you two make yourselves at home if you wish can we really? Oh. I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Is that what I think it is? Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? What? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after oh, no. a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. Oh, no. And that's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible... I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching. Uh, between your orthodoxy and her heterodoxy. <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, uh, I had a feeling. I mean, I would too, I to be fair. I a bit too hard headed. With someone of her character on the Chising. I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. 
Mm. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. Oh, God. Uh, Asa's Keqing was the only choice. I mean, the other one said Keqing as well. He said, I choose Keqing over the divine powers or something, so, I don't know. I guess, spoiler, Double Doll's gonna die. No! I surprise that the Vithui has a hand in these rumors. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I did. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. I mean, it makes sense. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends... Oh, no. Could I say one other thing? Go for it, Paimon. Of one. course. Paimon's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? <sighs> Seriously, Paimon? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? I would like the vase. One of the sheets on that wall! Never mind. Question box? Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! I mean... Just imagine, <sighs> how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for? How are you gonna prove it though? I mean, Let's I... Let's grab one! The biggest one! You actually... Oh my god, they actually are gonna make me pick one. Okay, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. Hmm. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. God damn it. Huh? God damn There's it. There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, Ooh. something, fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. Oh, this piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Uh, it's all unfolding a little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? I think it's a trap, well, Paimon. Should we not go then? Mm -mm. No, what I mean is... Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Uh... Anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Okay, I mean, we... Okay, let's go. There are so many talismans here. And some stacks of blank paper, too. Hmm, what are they for? Hmm, Scuba Steve, welcome in, how are you? 
What's like the copy and the pattern of the talisman? Maybe they try to re reproduce the talisman. Maybe they try to reproduce it. I haven't seen this pattern before. But where? Oh, Paimon knows! It looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Wait, really? But how did a relic of the adept die end up in the hands of someone like child? It's suspicious. Not... It's not just a relic. And he is suspicious. He's sus as fuck. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Geo created the Sigil of Permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Oh no. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Oh Being no. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew. That sounds pretty dangerous. Um, maybe this paper is only a snippet of a much bigger plan. And the plot thickens. <laughs> we'll need to keep an eye on child, that's for sure. We definitely do. All right, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. Okay. The last stop on our right of parting preparations tour is Dihua Marsh. Okay. Let's go. Paimon hates being late. Oh no, chat. Oh no. Zhongli, my baby. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Well, hello there. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? I did. It was really it fun. Was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. I love Paimon. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? Yes. What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. Oh, Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when it suits their interests. Yeah, his take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tactless Yuhang is more trustworthy than her. I think I've got a oh. point. So you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? Just kind of the opposite. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> no respect for the divine. Oh. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart. Though they are both members of the Qixing. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. I think she's highly ambitious, but I do think she's highly intelligent as well. Um, I do think more ambitious, though. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. She's it's very said cool. That she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan. She would never give up the Jade Chamber. Oh. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her then? The booba. Why, Mora, of course. Of course. Of course! Uh, no surprises there. All Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. Hmm. Now they're trying to re reproduce the sigil of permission. Hmm. Well, we no didn't know about what that. They may be planning. You must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. I will definitely so, try. Is there anything we need to get for the right of parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today the we'll be gathering lilies? wild glaze lilies. Blaze lilies? Well, why did we come all the way out here? That's what I'm Doesn't saying. the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Qingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right. Paima remembers that Madam Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. Big! No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Oh, what? Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, 
Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, oh, turning God. it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. I'm about it, but okay. I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. Surely not the singing. You, you want me to pick them? No. I need you to sing to them. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. Ah! Uh, so how good is your singing? I can hold the tune. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once he starts singing. Come on, what? Oh my god. I gotta sing. I can't sing. Chat, I'm terrible at singing. Okay, here we go. It's time to sing. Whenever you're ready. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay. Da, 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 da. I see. What happened? Whoa! These flowers are jumping. But my They're voice was not. Nice. angry. No, Is but. It because you sing a song for mom's dad that they don't understand, Carolina? No. Maybe. Everybody stand back. Ow. Incinerate. What the uh, fuck? Yeah. You bitch. Uh, what the hell? Those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit people. Those flowers put up quite a fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Wow, oh, that's a cool mm. name. Whopper flower. Strange. These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Damn it! Oh, that's so lame. Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Yeah. Oh, hey! It's... What's the case? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Hi, Yang Yu. Yanggu? Who, who's that? <sighs> you have completely forgotten my name, haven't you? No, I'm uh, kidding. That reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? I'm just kidding uh, with you. It would have been better if you told us how to get up there. <laughs> Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. We found the way on our own. Guess it was a wrong fault for not asking. That oh, is true. I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Yeah. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. Yangu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. Oh. now I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled oh. through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. It takes a while to process Archon emotions. It's to okay. Its 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So that means... Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, wow. only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, 
the youngest, is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. Wow. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of oh, human and Oh, here we go, she. here we go. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. Go, go, go! I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. So you're half Chilean, that explains the horns. So you're Howell, that explains the forgetfulness. Oh no! No, we're gonna say the horns. Well, I don't uh, wanna be that mean. Let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. Let's go! Free lily! <laughs> we dare not refuse it. Yeah, no, we wouldn't. Oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Wow, okay. so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Gunyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. Okay. And that just about does it. <gasps> our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks in more ways than one. Zhongli, you seem suited to working in agricultural development. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. It'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. Exactly, chat. Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. All right, I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? Mm. The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hid an impasse. It seems inevitable, given yep. the current situation. Thought about as much. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Qixing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. No. Surely the Liyue Chising are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, <sighs> that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Qixing for you. Anyway, oh. Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. Yep. It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. 
We can't just stand by and watch. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Neither path is an easy one. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. What? Things are taking a turn for the worse. Oh, no. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Same. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. Same. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. Cut it off at the starting point. Uh, the connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Xiangli mean by looking for the fuse? <laughs> All of these options are so fucking good. Child, that ginger guy. You know, Mr. War Buddy that says, Jesus Christ. That ginger guy. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? There's only one place he would go. Child, what, the bank, baby? I don't fucking know, dude. Or the, the, the place that we met him at. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm so nervous. Wait. Oh, are we gonna get the player's wow. child? This is the golden house? I think we might get the player's child. It enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? It is beautiful. So full of Mora. It is beautiful. Well, to that, Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few Mora go missing. Such a single Mora are we done for. Oh, so it's a trap. Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. Mm hmm But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look, right? Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Paimon is literally small. Uh, something feels amiss here. We better check out the Exuvia first. Oh, right. Back to business. Uh huh. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? They've been not unconscious. Uh oh. Paimon smells trouble. Quick! We have to go make sure that the Exuvia is alright. Ah! You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you still linger here? Wait, that's Haven't Child's you voice. Have seen enough trouble for today? Isn't it? Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross. Wait, what? And you're in my way. But I get to play as you. Looks like I was just in time then. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location. Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Stopping the more immense. Hiding away the Exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers. It's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. I won't allow you to get near the Exuvia. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. What? The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure. And one no. that I am oh so delighted to be no, sharing No, 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 no. The battle. Battle? No, so sure, dude. you're looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> you could say that. <sighs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? 
What? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a Harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along, to feel the thrill of battle. Whoa. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway, because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? I could never defeat you, you're completely delusional. I don't know, he's kind of strong. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Mm. Oh my god, chat. I... This chance is hard to come by. Level so 37. show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with the Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint me. So quick to flee. Not bad, not bad. Easy! Yes, I should take you more seriously. Haha, <laughs> good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. What? That just means I can go all out. Uh, Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. What are you doing? Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. What the fuck? All you do is run. Teamwork is dream work. <laughs> okay, get it. Two face fight, okay? Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. What is happening? <laughs> Didn't uh -oh. think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing it close to the Exilvia. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. What is he doing? <laughs> Well then, I'll be taking more access gnosis now. <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You, you beat me to it, didn't you? Actually wild. You got to the gnosis ahead of me, didn't you? Did you simply move faster? Uh, or did you leak the information regarding the golden house to me on purpose? No matter. Hand the gnosis over. Now, don't make me take it from you. We didn't take it! Let me leave you a verse. Rain out. Come on, baby. Boom, boom. Everybody stand back. 
Let's finish it in style. Let's go. Let's go. Child, what the hell, dude? Look, child's back to normal again. Well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. What? I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, uh, how could that be? Because I'm gradually restoring my former power? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. Wait, but I don't. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Wow. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, oh. it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Yeah, I don't think he still lives. The corpse was fake? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems Bloody. that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. I hate so vegetables. What are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? What? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liu Harbor, Defenseless without the protection of its deity. Do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon Child, War ended what the fuck? years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. What? Hey, those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. I saw your research with my own eyes. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> I can't do that. He's, he's already gone. That guy is fast. What's going on? 
Dude, this animation is so good. It's a squid. Squid games. Wait, no fucking shot. I don't have to fight this thing. Exhausted. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. Um... Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leela yet, has it? Uh... What are you doing here? My boy! Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept guy. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the Chising. Is the fighting over? What? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this Overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pin in Paimon's tummy. Even from all the way out here. There's no way we kill this thing. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. Oh my god. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? Maybe. We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? Wait, all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Come on! Yet, it would take one, but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. Oh? <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Oh my god, okay. Yep. Oh god! Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. Okay, let's All go. All evil Millilith, with me. Let's go help too. We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Let one see what you're made of, then. What strength remains within you? One wishes to witness. I got this. Wait, where are the others? Oh god. Hello. We can take it out of Evo only for now as well. Thank you for the follows, chat. I appreciate it. How are you guys? Ah. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Thank you for being wary, mods. Let's go, chat. Let's go. You're free. Uh. Oh, 
no, Jinx. I didn't realize that's why. No, Jinx, the name has already been said. We already know the name. We already know the name. You don't need to put emo only on Piggy for that. We already know it. That's fine. Just be careful about deleting messages in emo only if, uh, if it's already been said. But I know it's hard sometimes. But it has already been said. Child already said it. That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar. Be careful uh, not to get hit. What? What do you mean? It did the whole fucking platform, dude. What? Okay. The Fatui, their attacks are unrelenting. Huh. How dare you. Snezhnaya's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Fuck! Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many. Motion to compel. Yeah, let's light it up. The ancient gods attacking again. What do you? There are so many too. We kill Come on. Were you about to say we can't hold them, children? No, this is an electro one. What the fuck am I doing, chat? What am I doing? Don't lose heart. Here, take this. Thanks. This is Energy. Oh my god. Body. It's like the tiny Jillian cars. Wow, it's a Madam Pink shockwave. This gray is really strong. Die. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Dude, this is actually hard. It's at 67%. <laughs> Rain outlines your fate. This is it. This isn't good. Have a look at this. Whoop. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Boosted survival capability. Okay, okay, okay. And fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. So this is what Ganyu's like in a fight! Okay, I dodged it, I dodged it, I dodged it. Oh, oh god. Child, you are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three oh, forms of adeptal energy at once. Shit! This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Oh god, oh once god, you've oh adapted, god. Try to use them in battle. Oh, there they are! Witness the power of the worst. Incinerate. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Okay. This is so fun. Go away. Rain outlines your. More check enemies. More check. There you are. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Stand back! Exercise caution! I fear that the god's power has reached its peak! Huh? In other words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? <laughs> Teamwork is dreamwork! Breath of the flame! Oh, the damage! Yeah! <laughs> Bro, there's so many though, there's so many, it's a 36%! Motion to oh my god, there's so much happening, dude, there's so much Time happening! Let me leave you over. No, my This one is so low health. Did we do it? 
Did I do it? Yo, let's go! <laughs> ka -ching. Oh. The interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Weizhang Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. What's that, Ningguang? <laughs> what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What? What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler. Lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Wait, what? They just did the full ruin night ruin night challenge. <laughs> what the hell? dude? That animation was so sick. That was so good. Is it finally over? The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. Wow. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely wow. you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then-limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you uh. agree? <laughs> well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive wow. us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Right? Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. 
This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Oh god. Hmm. Oh god. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. Okay. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. We're all on the same side here, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there is discord between the Guardians and those they were meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity. Oh. As Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? Yes, I know she I did. already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid Feng Yan? I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. Okay. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. Oh. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier. I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. What a good boy. What a solid boil. Huh? Why does everyone look so down? Oh. Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Hell yeah, Everyone we will. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and... and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Oh. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Wait, what? Huh? Why? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an Adeptus. Oh. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods so and Lyra has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Lyra and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> hmm. Seems like the 
adept I have had a change of heart. And they're trying to understand things from their perspective. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall. Oh. And return whence we came. Hmm. Oh. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? I don't think they would. In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. I don't feel like they would. <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. I agree with that. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All sort it ends well, huh? You can say that again. Oh, right. It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. True. But we were able to handle the overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death too? Is there anything I can do for you two? I'll get the chest. I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. What? Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liu? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. That's sus. We had better go and make sure that everything is okay. That's sus. Did I still you call go? this cooperation between Harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. No. Shh. <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Why? It's Zhang Li and Child. And you, you're also one of the Harbingers? Senora. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Just stay calm. Well, if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Paimon knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Is it normal to be genuinely oh, pissed don't off? don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. Oh, I do. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. X what Senora and Jean So actually I think Stop wasting time, child. There'll be plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Uh agreement? What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> The contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. You bastard. For my promise is solid as stone. You bastard. <sighs> oh, 
How sanctimonious. What? So you're the Lord of Chio? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I gotta let this process for a second. Hold on. Uh... Okay, I'm afraid I don't understand. Yeah, you don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky and all of Lyric goes into an uproar. Talk about a disaster. <laughs> Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. Yeah, please do! As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come, until one drizzly day, as I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. <sighs> but as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remain to not hastily depart. I'm still kind of much. Liyue? But the city as well. I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death, and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liu Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liu. Let me guess, you had another plan in case it all burned down. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lila back under control? Of course. And it would have been all too easy for him, too. What? Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Yeah, they did great. Credit is also due to Signora. Why? The emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liu Chising. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liyue. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! Dude, my head. <laughs> On the contrary. I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. 
And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't Shut anyone up. feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? Fuck no! You've practically kept me in the dark! Are you serious? <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liyu, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? What the fuck, child? What it? I love you. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for getting the shout out to both. Hopefully it was a really good stream. I'm so um I uh, my my I have no trust left. There's no trust left in my body. What <sighs> You've really embarrassed yourself this time. Hey, haven't you learned the Leo is saying? Don't always call it as you see it. <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Saritza. Come, child. Ah, uh, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> Do as you wish. My poor brain. My poor fucking brain. Holy shit. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? Probably a lot, but right now my brain is quite literally mush, Zhongli. Uh, do you have any money for me? Because that's, uh, I mean, if you brought more, we could go for a nice meal and chat over it. Maybe over some fucking drinks as well so I can get hammered and forget this night ever fucking happened. I'm so confused. What could possibly be worth a gnosis? Right. As Zhongli always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a gnosis. Realistically speaking... There is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I Just... have made countless contracts. <laughs> if the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts okay okay that as makes for more the bargaining sense. chip that the tsaritsa used to balance the scales uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys bro i feel like i'm gonna stop bleeding out of my ears hear ye all the chi sings words though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains it, too, must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So, too, must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Uh-oh. Now, let the truth be revealed. Popcorn ready. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyur to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. Uh, um, Daimon needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. Uh, they said that Rex Lapis died because of a divine trial or wasn't murdered. Uh, we'll go with divine trial. So that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Oh. Could the Chising already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? I think you've hit the bullseye this time. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the right of parting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. Ay, ay, ay. God damn it, chat. 
Yeah, let's not make any weird references. But yeah, I guess I should just start calling him Tartalia now. <laughs> Dude, that fight was wild though. I do wanna I do wanna do the weekly again. Go to the site of the the Oh god, here we Look at them, my ladies! Look, it's Ningguang and Kuching. Are they saying something? I'm Gan Yu! Paimo, she's right there! As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. We, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Yep. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence the Yuhang have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Oh. Yikes! She really is looking our way! Hello, Kaching! Is that the traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young! The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. Sticky honey roast. Whoa. Sticky honey roast. Do it! Unlimited sticky honey roast! Where's the option? Fuck well, Shogli. Could you help me put up some missing person posters? Oh, a voice! Oh, oh dude, that's so cute. Ay ay ay. Hey, Zhongli! Look at this! Everyone in Liu is caught up in their emotions, thinking that they'll never see Rex Lapis again! Yeah, tell him! And here you are looking all relaxed! <laughs> Why would I not feel more at ease? After laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years. He's got a fair point. Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. Ha! Huh. That sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout, but you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinya kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. I'm gonna fucking scream. You've been this way the entire time, but... But why would Morax lack Mora? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, Why? though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder! He did method Kremen acting. gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite to society whoa, whoa. who lives off of other people's credit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You <sighs> don't have to say it like that. <laughs> In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. <coughs> we also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight. Jesus. As well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could. Uh huh. No matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. Chat, this is why I adore Paimon, by the way. This is why I actually adore Paimon. <laughs> It was a fine journey, Zhongli. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and can 
continue our search for the Seven. Hell yes. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. <sighs> Who's the god who rules in Azuma? The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Hyman thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, Ry Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. The Shogun! That said, though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Wow. Jungli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. What? Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how people in Tevan see it. But starting from last year, what? the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders, and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. They want to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For I her turn... part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. Uh? It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away. Oh my god. Will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. Heaven? All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Oh, <laughs> about the trial. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. It's a good one. That said, the reason why the Chi Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received wow. news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. Bro, they do everything. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Uh, have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? Excuse All me? All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? What? He just dropped that on me? What? Gifting dreams and visions as an Adepti art? What the? Oh, God. God, okay, interesting, interesting. What about child? Yeah, about that. Before the Chising made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chising from defeating the ancient god. Ugh. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha. <sighs> Those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, this is wild, I'm dude. certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. This is wild. All right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? 
I don't give a shit about the leeway chasing more. That's right. Zhongli, now that you don't have your gnosis, what's going to happen to all the more into that? Can we have it? Since Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present uh... now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time. Such. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. <laughs> this is terrible! Oh, We're no. all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! Hi, but it's fine! Yes. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Leo Chising to debate. Yep, then, it's for the best. Did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Do you think you did? Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. All right, then. Was there anything else you wish to know? No. Nope. Well, then. Nope. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. <sighs> Nothing. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Okay. That sounds exciting. I... I... Oh my god, we did it, chat. We did it! Collapse in the chat. That is the one. A new star approaches.